always purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Is all I want Welcome dear, how was today? I don't even know. I went to buy the textbook that was required, but I was told it is finished. Ah, you see the reason why I told you to buy that textbook since you got the money from Richard? Babe, the people that wanted to buy it were too much. I wanted them to be a bit lesser. I didn't know it would finish so soon. We told the plenty copies that they bought. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll bring more tomorrow. I pray so, because I am not ready to miss that exam. My future depends on it. I need the certificate to find a very good job to take care of my mom. You will. Have you had something to eat? I'm very famished. For where? There is absolutely nothing in this house. I drank Gary in the morning. My eyes are already turning me. Babe, school life is not easy. We will get through this very soon. So what will you eat now? I don't have any money with me. I don't have money either. Let's keep drinking the Gary. After all, our exam will start in two days time. We will round up everything and go back home. understand what you are saying mercy can you please repeat yourself babe come on i'm sure you heard what i said it is just one thousand forty dollars i'm asking for please can you listen to yourself where do you expect me to get one thousand forty dollars from no that is the only savings i have in my account that is why i'm asking you for that amount i know you have it please help me out let's assume i have one thousand forty dollars what do you want to use it for I want to start a business of my own. I'm tired of working under someone. I want to be my own boss, make my own money. I am sorry, but I don't have it. You have rich parents. I'm sure your parents will give it to you if you ask. They love you since you are their only child. I have never asked my parents for such a huge amount of money before. I tried to pay most of my bills. Okay, fine. I promise to pay back the money. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. Just give me like 10 months. I promise to refund the money. The business I want to do is very lucrative. Okay, I'll ask my mom for it. Any night, I swear to you now, it'll be Hi mom. My daughter, it is such a surprise to see you. You don't come without calling. This is my parents' house. I can come here anytime, any day I want. Is there a problem with that? No ma, there is no problem. I am happy to see you. Your dad has already gone to work. Oh, he's the reason why I came here. I have something to discuss with him. In fact, I need a favor from him. What kind of favor? I may be of help. I prefer to discuss it with my father. My father is more understanding than my mother. My mother would definitely refuse to help out, especially when it has to do with Mercy. What does Mercy want this time around? Exactly why I want to talk to that directly. You know you will not leave this house until you tell me what Mercy wants and what you want your father to do for you. Well, Mercy needs my help. She wants to start up a business, but she doesn't have the funds and capital, so she needs my help. So she wants you to help out with her business capital? Yes, mom. How much does she want? $1,040. $1,040? That girl is definitely a thief. Can you imagine the amount she wants? I don't blame her though. So mom, you cannot help out. Even if I want to help out, when does she dare to pay the money? I will leave it for free. It will not be for free. She will pay back after 10 months. Okay, then I'll give you the money, but make sure she pays back after 10 months. Thank you, mom. Desert stars in the night sky Gentle and wild like you and I Esther, you are getting me anxious. What did your mommy say? Can you please tell me? Your blood is too hot. See as you are shining eyes because of money. Who no like better thing? Besides, you have refused to tell me what your mommy said. She said she doesn't have money. I also asked my dad. He said he doesn't have up to that amount. The only money he has is $140. I don't believe it. It is not possible for your mom to be broke. It is not possible at all. I am serious. Mom said she would have loved to help, but she doesn't have money for now. Oh my god, what do I do now? And I already booked the location I want to start the business. Look at her face. It is not a laughing matter. I actually feel like crying now. I have so much hope on you guys. I didn't even know where to start from. Oh, she's really serious about her business. Don't mind me. My mom gave me the $1,040. She did? Oh, I knew your parents would never disappoint me. Is the money in account? Yes. Don't worry. I will transfer it to you. But I hope you return it in 10 months. I will. Wild like you and I. Trusted the music Ooh, to bring us My daughter is not 
before we graduate my own baby oh god i thank you all for five good years you went through distress and hard work <laughs> Mom, you ever get tired of doing this? It's been a month now I graduated, yet you keep thanking God every day. No, 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 no. I will never get tired of it. Do you know what it means for your only daughter to be a graduate? It is a dream come true for me. It's been all about God and Richard. Speaking of Richard, he called to tell me to see him tomorrow. But now that you are done with school, what is? Mama, please, I am not ready to talk about it. It is still too early to talk about marriage. No, that's not the only thing I want to talk about though. I want to talk about your certificate and what you intend to do with it. I'll find a job as soon as possible. After all, that was my aim of striving in school, to make sure I graduate in flying colors. Hmm, I'm so proud of you, my daughter. I didn't have the opportunity of going to school. But today, my own daughter is now a graduate. <laughs> Don't worry, mama. I'll find a good job and take you out of this place to a better house and I'll take very good care of you. Thank you, my dear. I pray God you continue to give you the strength. You are very hardworking, so I don't doubt anything you say. Thank you, Mom. We've always trusted the music. Ooh. Who is knocking? Yes, come in. The door is open. Hi, good evening to you. Good evening to you too. Who are you and how may I help you? My name is Randy. I'm here to see Andrew. I was told he lives in this apartment. Oh, Andrew. I know him. This is the wrong apartment. Andrew lives by the left. Why not call him on the phone? I don't have his phone number. Someone recommended him to me. I need his services. You are in the wrong apartment. But Andrew is not in the house at the moment. I saw him leaving early this morning. Ever since then, his door has been locked. Oh my god, what is all this? Where do I even start from to search for another surveyor? Don't worry. You can wait here for him. I am sure he will be back before night falls. You mean I can wait for him here? Yes. But the problem is that I don't know when he will return. You can hear him driving. His car will be parked at the entrance. Thank you very much. Let me get you something to eat while you are waiting. My baby girl for life. We finally made it with good grades. It's not about us making it. The problem is that I haven't been able to get a job yet. I don't understand you. It's not of you to be happy that you graduated with grades. You are here talking about job. You know the main reason why I went to school? I put in all my best to make sure I did very well. You know all those stress and sleepless night was for me to graduate and get a job. Seriously, you want to pretend like you don't know how this country is. My dear, you will not get a job so soon. Is that a prayer? It is reality. If you actually went to school with hopes of getting a job, then your hopes will be crushed forcefully on the floor. I don't like this negative side of yours. You should join me in searching for a job. In as much as I'll be happy getting a job, I actually went to school for the certificate. I don't mind working outside from what I studied. Just wait for me. In few weeks time, I'll be a working class lady and I will earn a very good amount of money. God, I'm not laughing no. Well, I wish you good luck. Who knows? Your prayers can be answered. Every weird thing about us is amazing. Yeah, let's face it. We all know it's true. see i don't understand why did you bring your luggages to my house what happened you already know what it means for me to bring my luggages to your house so please just help me out don't tell me you want to move in here yes my rent has expired and i don't have any means to renew it you are the only person i can think of that can help me this girl is so funny mercy you know i cannot let you move in here i love my space i'm sorry but you can't move in why not? Are we not friends anymore? Didn't you say you will always be there for me? My rent has expired and I cannot afford to renew it. How come your rent expired? Last year, you collected $1,040 from me, claiming you want to start up a business. What happened to the business? Don't worry about the business. I just need a roof over my head. That is all. By the way, you told me you will return the money in 10 months. It's been one year already. Why haven't you returned it yet? Esther, calm down. I will return the money. All I need from you is to please let me stay for a while. Okay, I will only let you stay for a while. How are you doing? I waited for you all through yesterday, but you didn't show up again like you promised.
I'm very angry with you, Jude. Why didn't you tell me Andrew wouldn't be at home yesterday? What do you mean? He wasn't at home. That guy is always at home because he works from home. I didn't find him at home. That is why I don't like relying on who you are recommending me to. Calm down. I didn't know he wouldn't be at home. Why didn't you get his phone number from his neighbor? There is a lady that lives close to him. Yes, she gave me his phone number. I called him and he said he wouldn't return that day. So I had to leave. Sorry for the stress. If not for that beautiful neighbor of his, she is such an angel. She even offered me a drink. You better focus on what took you there. You know a woman is not the him now. Now what will I tell my boss? He really needs a surveyor. Now it will be like as if I lied to him when I told him I have someone already. Don't worry, keep trying his number to know when he will return. Desert stars in the night sky. My love. Congratulations on your graduation. At least all the money I paid to see you through school was not in vain. I told you to trust me. I am a very hardworking person and I believe so much in education. I just wish your mom was also hardworking. All this load wouldn't be on my head. We are not talking about my mom here. Well, I want to thank you for all the things you did for me. You have done a lot for my mom and I. You don't have to thank me. I did it because I will marry you. And now that you are done with school, I think it's time. It's time for what? For marriage now. Or is there any other education you want to further? It is time for marriage, please. I know you have waited enough for me, but I am not yet ready. I don't want to get married now. I want to find a job first. You must be out of your mind. Am I a joke to you? I sent you to school. Now, it is time for marriage. You are telling me you are not yet ready. At least, let me get a job first so I can support with the marriage. I don't need your support. We will be getting married soon. Men, babe, oh 